With everyone usually already having their own opinion on who the best Fortnite pro is, the debate surrounding the game's best player is easily compromised. There's usually no way to know who is the definite better player in a battle royale thanks to the genre's revolvement around RNG. Things can always turn in your favor, or they can never go your way. But top players like Aspect have mastered Fortnite, making it less of a game of luck on their end. In fact, you can bet the game will go consistently in Aspect's favor thanks to his advanced mechanical skills and swift decision making. As many of you know, Aspect is one of Fortnite's rising prodigies. He's placed top 25 consistently in every single World Cup qualifier tournament he's taken part of, and on top of that, he qualified for solos in Week 7. He's consistently hitting the goal when it comes to placement, and he's always sweeping the competition. We're going to be assessing Aspect's gameplay in depth to show you what makes him victorious. No luck, all skill. We have Aspect in Neo Tilted early game. He manages to pull a shotgun, a flintlock, and some shadow bombs. He's going to emerge victorious with three kills. This is the type of performance that'll teach us how to come out ahead in early game in our own matches. Okay, let's watch how to win the early game. One great thing about pro players is that they always have something new to show us. In this first scene, as Aspect is landing, he uses the slipstream to gain better momentum, getting a perfect drop. Just check out that level of improvisation. After looting up, he pulls a great loadout but lacks a shield. He knows somebody is below him, so instead of making an impulsive push, he stalks him without making a noise. The reason for this is simple. He could have possibly died if he pushed aggressively. This is the kind of split second decision making that makes the pros rise above the rest. He baits the player into thinking he's chasing him. You can see the enemy pre-aim. Aspect goes for a right-handed peak shot. Peak shots are beneficial because you only expose yourself minimally in comparison with the left-handed alternative. And just like that, he claims kill number one. Aspect picks up some shields as he hears another enemy in the building. Now he's on the hunt. With his current loadout, he isn't afraid to take a fight. He's got full shields and many utilities. He can easily tunnel or shadow bomb himself out of a bad situation if he needs to. Aspect gets a neat wall replace and starts his push. Now, pay attention to this next move. He places a ramp inside the guy's box, preventing him from protecting himself. This is a technique widely used by pro players. Whenever you're in a box or pressuring, place a ramp inside to protect your counter. After finishing him off, Aspect sits around for a bit. So let's skip to the fun stuff. Aspect gets lasered by a third enemy and takes some damage. Now he is forced to retreat. He gets good positioning and makes sure to block off possible entryways. He knows that if he heals without any kind of protection, the enemy could come out of anywhere. Notice how he blocked off his blind spots with walls and has his camera panned at the outside. The enemy jumps down and decides to pressure. You can see how calm Aspect is. He's waiting for the right opportunity to edit. Most of the time, you don't want to push an enemy right away as they'll be expecting your edit. Aspect finds that right moment and is able to nail the enemy with a flintlock. After the enemy sees Aspect as a threat, he makes a run for it, but in this situation, Aspect isn't letting him get away. One notable thing pro players always have is a counter strategy. Aspect thinks ahead and counters the wall. This is a heads up play, completely stopping the enemy's attempt. Then he waits for the enemy to edit the ramp and claims kill number two. Okay, now on to takeaways. So what did we learn? Number one, we learned patience. Aspect could have rushed the enemy at the start, but he knew without a shield it would have been extremely risky. Next time you want to push recklessly, pay attention to your loadout. And number two, place a ramp or cone inside the box. We learned how placing a ramp or cone inside the box can help tremendously towards getting the kill. Also, if you're being pressured, place a ramp or cone inside to prevent incoming damage. We're going to spectate Aspect in a mid-game engagement. He pulls himself out of a seemingly dismal situation here. His enemy is fierce and isn't backing down, so let's watch how to handle mid-game fights like Aspect. Aspect has a great loadout. He's got a shotgun, an AR, and some minis, but most importantly, full health. He decides to go search for lurking targets. Pro players are always taking their surroundings into consideration. He sees a possible enemy nearby after studying buildings in the area. He finds a target and goes for the kill. But uh-oh, he gets countered by a boogie bomb. The enemy decides to spray at him with an SMG instead of using a shotgun. Now, it seems Aspect is in a rough situation, so what does he do? He backs off and resets the fight. Always look to isolate yourself from an engagement if you need to reset it. Check out this insane power play. The enemy builds toward Aspect, but the opponent waits for a pre-aim shot, and right as he takes a shot, Aspect builds cover. He took absolutely no damage and got a nice amount off in return. This is a tactic used only by the best of the best. When it comes down to deadly accurate shots, pre-aiming is your go-to method. In this instance, Aspect decides to disengage to heal up. Sometimes you don't have to engage right away, so always remember to use the time you have available to heal up and plan out your next course of action. In this position, he has full view of the enemy and can make a move if he needs to. Again, we see another instance of that high skill pre-aiming. And after you've got that much damage off, it's build battle time. Unfortunately, Aspect loses the high ground, but this doesn't stop him. He decides to knock the enemy down. Instead of going for a pre-aim, he executes a perfect protected retake. Now, check out how Aspect goes for the high ground. He looks down slightly and places a wall behind him and in front of him. That way, as the enemy falls, he has no view of Aspect. 
This build technique is great to ensure the enemy can't get a shot off on you while he falls. After that, Aspect pulls a 180 reverse stair and then places ramps to block off his enemy. He claims the high ground and forces his enemy onto the low ground. I want you guys to pay attention to how Aspect pressures here because it's very important. He's always moving and isn't giving his opponent the opportunity to counter him. Aspect is always ready for his opponent's next move. Suddenly, he notices that the enemy is going for high ground and beats him to it. His exchange rate here is debatable, but I guess if you're as confident with your shot as Aspect, then you can go right ahead. Some of you may not notice this, but Aspect is ignoring his low health. Why? Aspect knows his enemy is probably weaker than he is, considering the damage Aspect has done to him already. If he stops to pop mini, his enemy will too, so he maintains the confidence and pressure and ends up taking his opponent's roof. Always keep the pressure up because at times your opponent has no idea how healthy you are. Aspect is persistent and knows he can't back down. After a fight that's already lasted this long, somebody has to be sent back to the lobby, and Aspect won't let it be him, so he continues tracing his opponent, determined to get this point. After pressuring him for a while, Aspect manages to take the enemy's wall, place a cone inside, and win that engagement, giving him his fourth kill. There were a few things I wanted you guys to take away from Aspect's play here. Number one, we witnessed high-level pre-aim shots. Aspect showed us a common method used by high-level players where you pre-aim, take a shot, and build instantly. Number two, place a ramp behind you while going for high ground. Aspect could have easily gotten shot from above if he didn't cover himself. Start using it while going for high ground. Number three, trick your opponents. It's well known in Fortnite that only one of the methods that separates the averages from the pros is their creativity. Look for new ways to flush your enemy out. Think of new ways to trick them. In this final clip, Aspect turns a World Cup qualifiers match into an easy 16 kill win. We're going to watch him slay out while demonstrating some key elements to winning a successful endgame. Aspect is rotating to the upper zone of the circle. As he lands, he decides to pick an engagement with an enemy. Remember what we talked about in our previous videos, high-end players make sure to box themselves in before taking a fight. Aspect takes the guy's wall, punishing him for not paying attention. Aspect's hunger for more kills just isn't going to stop here. With over 10 kills, he wants more. Aspect pushes yet another enemy in W key fashion. Although this move is questionable, who am I to tell him? Sometimes these very risky plays actually work out. After already bodying 12 people, I'd probably feel as confident as Aspect is right now. He decides to push another player, yet again. But this time, he uses a cheeky tactic many people know but don't seem to implement. He uses his heavy sniper to take the enemy's wall and pop pop claims that kill. Wall replacement is another thing pro players often utilize. Start prioritizing heavy snipers if you can get them. Alright, Aspect uses his shadow bomb to gain height, so let's skip on over. While on height, Aspect uses every available moment to pressure enemies. While you have high ground, never allow someone else to get above you. High ground is solely the most important factor for late game. Sometimes it can be risky, but most cases it's your ticket to winning endgame. When it comes down to tarping, using metal is the most viable resource, especially late game. Wood and brick are also fine, but it's better to play it safe here. Also, fully built metal can withstand a rocket launcher, giving you time to react to incoming attacks. Aspect is playing very passively, being aggressive only when he needs to. Maintaining pressure from above is important, while also being careful not to draw too much attention to himself. Suddenly, Aspect sees a potential threat going for the high ground. He decides to go into the storm for a few seconds to retake it. This pays off nicely because he's able to keep it. So was the 30 storm damage worth keeping height? It sure was. At this point, Aspect is literally just waiting for an enemy to kill. Nobody can stop him, he has the ultimate loadout and enough materials. We see yet a third use of the heavy sniper to get that wall replace. Unfortunately, he doesn't pick up the kill, but he still maintains height. He scans the area for potential challengers. With three players left, Aspect knows he has to force a fight between the two parties. Another high skill technique used by a lot of high skill players. Let the two guys fight and then clean up. Aspect looks to isolate his enemies by playing the high ground smartly. He's looking for any available moment to act here. He sees the right moment and strikes, placing a floor and cone above and double downs for his 15th kill. Now Aspect is pitted off in a 1v1 situation. He has no idea how healthy the enemy is, but knows he has to strike soon. He doesn't want it down to a heal off. He jumps from the side and is able to claim that victory. From this clip, there were a few takeaways. Number one, box yourself while engaging in close quarters. I know it seems obvious and self-explanatory, but many people don't do it. Number two, use a heavy sniper for wall replacing. Aspect uses the heavy sniper not only to take walls, but does so with the element of surprise. Nobody expects an instant wall replace, so whenever you have it available, use it. Number three, don't be afraid to go into the storm. It's well known in Fortnite that one of the only methods that separates the averages from the pros is their creativity. The storm has a standard one second delay before it ticks if you see the right opportunity to go into the storm if you have to. Many top tier players use the storm to their advantage. That's it for our video today guys, so let us know your thoughts. Does Aspect deserve to be called one of the best players, or is he a little overrated? Comment down below and show ProGuide some love for bringing you this video. See you guys later.